this is the hardest problem I have seen on a middle school math test in 2025. We are given the coordinates of one corner of an equilateral triangle, which just happens to be 2025. And we know that the other two corners lie on the positive x and positive y axes. Based only on this, we are expected to find the area of the triangle. But wait, there's more. It's a math counts problem, so you are expected not to use trigonometry. If you want to work it out on your own, you have two seconds to pause the video before I show you the solution. 1, 1,000, 2, 1,000. Time's up. Here we go. The first thing to do is to add this right triangle. Notice we have two alternate interior angles here. And since one of these angles is complementary to the larger acute angle in the new triangle, the smaller acute angle is equal to both these interior angles. This makes our new triangle similar to this other triangle. The ratio of the two hypotenuses is the square root of 3 over 2 due to the 30, 60, 90 triangle you get by splitting the equilateral triangle at one of its altitudes. Now we can easily find the lengths of all these zigs and zags. Here they are. Finally, we can write the sum of the two zigs as 20, the x-coordinate, and the sum of the two zags as 25, the y-coordinate. Now we're getting somewhere. With these two equations and two unknowns and a calculator, we can compute x and y, and the rest is not too bad. The Pythagorean theorem gives us the side length s from x and y, and finally the square root of 3 over 4 times s squared gives us the area, which is 275.35, approximately. Boom, we did it.